about that temp, about that time, about that day. There you go. I think I waited a tad too long on the sucks of Saturn. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just a tad too long, but it's been too cold, man. Yeah, rotors are, yeah. But I ain't replacing them because, whatever, man. Stan, you the man. You the man, Stan. That's about it for now, yeah. funny you now you wait 10 weeks try to be patient assertive calm professional you get to the point you get tired and then you say one word to your insurance company lawyer in three days they cut you one check the biggest of all three funny how things work huh ha ha this ain't mine anyway this my this is for the caddy. This goes to my mom. It's not mine. Seriously. Bye. You all know this is a sexy Saturn. Got pulled over the other night because I had a broken tail light. So this is how we do it. This is patent now. You can't copy this. This is pure red plastic. Some bitch. That's some pimp ass shit. Cop pulled me over and didn't even give me a fix a ticket. You know why? Because I'm a law abiding citizen. Can't get amen. I see the Pontiac's gone. So be it. Little uh, fake sta stained glass. It's alright. Got some other things to do. Give you a little sneak preview. Sure there is peaceful go. out here, I could say that. A friend of mine got some cabinets. He installs metal cabinets. And let's see if the light works. Now this function is not currently available. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my camcorder. The light won't come on now, but anyway, it's supposed to be um, off white, and they say this is an off gray. Could be double panel. Yeah, it was for like lab equipment or something. They rejected them. He told him to take them. He didn't care what he did with them. He gave them both to me for nothing. And uh, legs ran out of adjustment. So I put two by fours underneath there. I would never be able to afford anything like that. Well, I could, but you know, I'm balling on a budget. There you go, got that done. And this is where I got the idea for this. It's still not done. Ain't finished the A's off yet, aces. This has been a long ordeal. It's supposed to look like a piece of the puzzle. Anyway, oh, I got this done too. What's your time worth? It's all gold leaf. You can't see it because my light function on the camcorder don't work. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyway, oh, 
What we got going on today? I'm getting ready to go home. A younger brother, commercial break. Um, he moved to Texas about a year ago. He just moved back. My brother Scooby, which his real name is Boyd. Anyway, um, he ain't used to the weather. But it's good to have him here with my mom and stuff when I'm not in the house. My mom's brother's in the hospital and um, man 66 years old named Larry. He has horses. He has a really good at retirement from two different places. He just retired in January and now he um, has cancer off of his body. My mom is doing okay. Um, anyway, back to a piece of the puzzle, piece of my puzzle. I've been thinking about that, you know, life ain't nothing but a puzzle. You know, my carport fell down. I was thinking, fuck. I did think fuck. You know, um, I was going to recover from that one. Still haven't yet, but it's supposed to happen here pretty soon. You know, life is nothing but a piece of puzzle. Sometimes the pieces don't fit in your puzzle. You have your own plans, but they don't always work. You know, I was going to set that spray booth up in fuck, one, two, two different locations. Yeah, I was certain. And it did pan out. And then this garage came available. Well, not available. My mom gave it to me out of the goodness of her heart. Because she knew that, she knew what this meant to me. I hope she knows, because I sure do tell her. Um, you know, she wanted me to give me some of that money from the caddy. I said, no, no, you already didn't give me enough, ma. That garage is, to me, I don't know how to explain it. The garage is my whole being. If that makes any sense. It's what I do every day is work at the garage. It's what I choose to do. Even if I was filthy rich, I'd still come out here. Might have some other people doing it. Well, then again, probably not because I've had people up in this motherfucker and they don't do a very nice job. Can I get an amen? Good help is fucking hard to find, isn't it? I mean... I'm not fucking all that to bag of chips, a glass of ice water, a stir straw, a napkin, and after dinner mint, and a two pick two. I am not. But, motherfucker, I'll put my heart and soul in this shit. You know, you get involved with people and I never can detect the signs that, you know, they're not who they say they're going to be. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. You'll see what my mom's doing. I'm sure I'll have to be going to a funeral here pretty soon. Larry had no kids, no wife. He just, um, horses are very expensive. My mom used to ride horses back in the day. Um, that was his, I would assume, I don't know Larry that well, that was his life, horses, you know. Um, Ain't like taking care of a dog or a cat. Horses ain't, you know. I don't know. Life is fucking short, man. This will be the third funeral in less than two years. What are you gonna do? Push the fuck through? I believe God only gives us what we can handle. Sometimes it seems like it's too much. But that's just our mere mind. We're just a human. What fucking do we really know? Actually, humans think they're fucking superior. They really do. They can't make the human body the way it fucking moves and heal itself. So, man and their laws, you know, um, whatever, man. Piece of property. Piece of the puzzle. Piece of oneself. Piece on earth. Rest in peace. Bigger piece of the pie. Piece of action. Piece of pussy, piece of corn dog, piece of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done eating, 
Even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. You know, if I was a big dog and filthy rich, like I just said, you know, I'd probably do some things different, but I'd still work. Sometimes I wonder, you know, just say, for example, um, how a person is molded from the family they're raised in. You know, if you were raised rich, what if I turned out different? I don't know. Um, would I still work in a garage? Or did I choose to work in the garage? I know why I started doing body work because I felt that was the only way that I could afford a nice paint job. And then, you know, when I bought my Camaro, <laughs> I thought that thing was nice. No, no, it was a bond of fucking buggy. It was. Have a stop shot sign in the fucking passenger side floor, pop ribbon and sheet metal screwed in with fur on the fucking floor, two inch. Don't buy a car with fur on the floor, trust me. <laughs> His old strip car. That's why I got into body work. Now, if I was raised in a rich house, I don't know. I can't explain it. Maybe you guys can. Even if puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. All I can say is, you got to play the hand that you're dealt. And I can't complain. Sure you can, but life. You know, like Larry, it ain't fucking fair. He got two retirements. I don't understand it, man. I'm glad I walked away from the world. Don't get me wrong, I miss the money. You know, but I don't miss the stress, the agony, selling my life off for dollars. Still do it, trying to do a little body work. You know, is it getting tighter on you? Yeah, it's fucking tight. I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll be all right. Garage gotta get done. Maybe I can do a car or two. I learned from my mom. My mom could take a nickel and she can squeeze it into a 50 cent piece. My mom can. Yeah, they be shooting out here, don't they? A lot of land around here. I seen a turkey the other day. Rabbits too. It's cool as hell out here. I don't like the city, but hey, you know. I'm not hating, I'm just stating. I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. Enjoy your evening, people.